Hi and welcome to the Ideal Calibrations How to Calibrate Your Gas Detector series. Today we're going to be looking at the MSA Altair 5 and make sure you have your calibration gas, a piece of tubing here, and a demand flow regulator. To get this started up, and then we'll talk a little bit about what you need to do to calibrate this monitor. Okay, so while it's going through startup, the first thing you need is a cylinder of calibration gas with the MSA values for it. So this is hydrogen sulfide, 20 parts per million, carbon monoxide, 60 parts per million, pentane, which is, we use methane as a simulant, but it's supposed to be 58% LEL, and then oxygen at 15% with a nitrogen balance. The other important thing to do while this is starting up is to check and make sure your expiration date is proper. Okay, it's asking us to do a pump test, so just turn it over, place your finger on that, and it'll read that it, it passed the test. I'm gonna go back to starting up now. So while it's starting up, let's get all of this set up and ready for calibration. First, we're going to take the demand flow regulator. It's going to have a C10 fitting on the bottom, which is this one with the O-ring and the external threading. And here's our cylinder. I'm going to just screw this in here. Now, there's no knob on this to turn it on and off, so we don't have to make sure that the knob is open before we screw it in. We just screw it right in there. And what this regulator does is it delivers gas when it feels a vacuum on this end here. So this, this pump will pull a vacuum and which will allow gas to flow into the monitor. <clears throat> okay, let's get the tubing on here. Put it on the regulator first because that's the harder one to do. And you'll probably whack your finger a good number of times because this isn't an easy process. The tubing is always a bit smaller than your monitor. If it keeps beeping like that, just hit the button on the right and it'll make it stop beeping. So when it says fresh air setup, what this is is it's really a small zero calibration. I'm going to cancel it, and you can hear this is alarming because it hasn't been zeroed in a while. But that's okay, that's what calibration is going to take care of anyway. So, to calibrate it, first we're going to zero it. So if it's alarming like mine is now, press this button once to stop the alarm. And now we're going to press and hold the button to put the monitor into calibration mode. It's the right button or the up arrow. <clears throat> so it'll say zero calibration. We press the left button for yes. And now it's doing a zero cal. So we want to make sure that the gas is not on the monitor. See how that's not on there? And we're just letting it go through. And what it's doing is right now it's setting these sensors to zero and it's sending oxygen to 20.8. Most monitors you'll see 20.9, but MSA does 20.8. So now it's asking for a span calibration. We make sure these values here match what's on our cylinder, which they do. That's what we went over at the beginning. And now we're going to click hit yes, which is the left button here, and attach the gas. And see, we put it over this tubing here. And I've already hit this button here to accept the calibration. Okay. And now we just have a brief wait while it goes through and it calibrates this. Let's flip this around. Now while it's calibrating, it shows you values on here, and this is what the monitor is reading right now, but it's also adjusting these values as it goes forward. So you see that we're reading 60 parts per million on CO, that's right on. Our combustible is a little bit high, 62, so it's probably going to bring that one down for us to 58, but still, still well within threshold for now. Oxygen looks to be right on, 15.0. A lot of times you'll see it be 15.4 or 15.5. That's still within spec, that's okay. And then on H2S, you can see we're a little bit low. Right now it's reading 17, and we're gonna wanna make sure that this brings it up to 220 by the time we're done calibrating. One thing to watch for is if you used a regulator that wasn't a demand flow regulator, like this one here, and there's a knob on it, you want to make sure when you install the regulator into the cylinder that you open that knob first, then screw it in, and then once you hear gas flowing, you can turn it off and screw it on. Also, if you're going to do a calibration with one of those monitors, make sure the gas is flowing before you hook it up to the unit. As you can see here, all the values are right on, 58, 15, 60, and 20, and that's exactly what we want for the calibration. Now we can pop the gas off. and the sensors will start coming down to zero. Okay, so while we're waiting for zero, if there's anything that you guys have question-wise or if anything goes wrong on the monitor, maybe your oxygen sensor won't come up 
uh, past a certain level, uh, maybe one of your sensors won't calibrate, feel free to give us a call. The number here is 734-956-0539. Again, that's 734-956-0539. You can visit us on the web at idealcalibrations.com or shoot us an email to support at idealcalibrations.com. Thank you much for watching. You guys have a great day, and we'll put some links in the uh, description below so that it will provide you guys with further information, bump test sheets, etc. Thank you much, and stay safe.